In this video, we will discuss the formation and translation of the future active infinitive. Let's first remind ourselves a little bit about infinitives by using the present active infinitive. The present active infinitive comes from the second principal part of the verb. From amo amara, we have amara. From wideo wideira, we have wideira. From pono ponera, we have ponera. From audio audira, we have audira. We translate the present active infinitive with the formula to blank. So our translations are to love, to see, to place, to hear. As we prepare to look at the future active infinitive, let's focus on these principal parts. Pono, ponera, posui, positum from the verb to place. See if you can figure out which principal part we're using to create the future active infinitive. Here is our example sentence. Milites putant skywalam manum in ignem positurum esse. So putant is our main verb, milites is the subject. Skyvalam is the accusative subject of the indirect statement. Manum is the direct object. In ignem is a prepositional phrase, and positurum esse is our future active infinitive. And we'll translate this sentence as the soldiers think, milites putant, that skyvala, using the English keyword that, will place positurum esse, his hand into the fire. Do you recognize anything about positurum esse? You might remember the future active participle, which is formed using uvrus ura urum on the stem of the fourth principal part. And this is what we're going to use to create the future active infinitive. I'll take the future active participle and add esse. Remember that the future active participle is an us a um first and second declension adjective, and so we'll need to make note of all three genders as we make our infinitives. So from amo amaro, we'll have amoturus, amatura, amaturum esse. From videa videra, we'll have visurus, visura, visurum esse. From Ponoponera, we'll have Positurus, Positura, Positurum, Essa. And from Audio Audira, we'll have Auditurus, Auditura, Auditurum, Essa. To translate these, we'll use something very literal. We'll translate Essa to be, and then the future active participle, about to blank. And so our translations are to be about to love, to be about to see, to be about to place, and to be about to hear. Now, if you think that sounds clunky in English, well, I agree with you, but fortunately for us, the future active infinitive will most commonly occur in the indirect statement. So let's look at that example again. Milites putant skywalam manum in ignem positurum esse. Notice how we translated positurum esse as will place, rather than to be about to place. Remember that the future infinitive denotes an action that takes place later than the time of the introductory or main verb. And so most often you will construe the future active infinitive with the helpers will or would. One more thing to point out. Remember that the future active participle is an us a um adjective. And as an adjective, we'll need to agree with the noun it modifies in case, number, and gender. Positurum needs to agree with skyvola. And so positurum is accusative masculine and singular, because skyvalam is also accusative and masculine and singular.